Hey everyone, it's Ian with video blog number 11 today. I thought I'd do a little something different than my other videos and tell you all about geocaching. So, geocaching is a worldwide scavenger hunt in which people around the world hide containers like this one, this little guy right here, and they upload the coordinates to the internet. For other people to, people to find. Each cache has a log detailing who's been there and there's often, like this one, there's often a prize for if somebody finds it. Uh, now the rule is if you, f if you find something you have to leave something there. So I've got this little bag of, this bag full of bottle caps. So so, so here's one that I'm going to leave for the next person to find. I'm going to sign the log. I'm going to sign the log here uh, with with my stamp and the date, and go find the next. One. Most caches aren't much bigger than this. In fact, the smallest one I found was about the size of uh, the end of my pinky there. That. This is pretty much the most creative cache container I've ever seen. It's a camera, look at this. And the log is right in there. Awesome. Now I'm assuming, judging by the name of the cache, which is Black Rock, uh, the location and the clue that they gave on the, on the page, which was find the inscription on the rock. I'm guessing POW, MIA, you are not forgotten is the inscription on this. I've been here before and for some reason when I sent uh, and for some reason when I sent this info to the cash administrator they uh, to the cash owner I didn't hear back from them and it wasn't logged as found so I'm not sure what's up. I'll take a look around this one and hopefully I'll find something and hopefully I'll get it properly locked. Oh no, is this the devil's house? Ah! All you really need is a GPS and a computer with an internet connection, a pen for writing the logs, and some little trinkets, uh, some little trinkets to leave behind when you find stuff. Like this one! Yeah, yeah! So I just waded knee-deep through this creek, climbed up and across that hill to find a geocache before realizing, hey, I could have just stayed on top of that hill Find a little, found a little parking space along the road and just went down the path to find the cache instead of this little, little adventure here where I had to go around ar around the hill uh, to find the cache. Geocaching isn't nearly so much a, as as what's inside the as what's inside the cache than uh, finding them and exploring little pockets of your uh, city, state, or wherever, uh, wherever your travels take you that you might not have uh, seen or been to otherwise. I really wish I found more caches like this instead I usually get the little micro ones like the film cans or pill bottles or Altoids tins, but I'm not complaining. Caches like this often have magnets so you can hide them uh, inside signs and pipes and things. Sometimes a cache isn't even at the spot where it says on, on the coordinates the uh, page will, will sometimes say this cache is 170 feet bearing 263 degrees from this cache like this one or you get examples of caches that have the coordinates for the next cache in what's called a multi-cache so what I had to do on my GPS here is go to the compass screen and I had to go sight and go and turn around until I hit 263 degrees uh, then I locked the direction, went back to the waypoint, and set a course for 170 feet. And look where it got me. Remember, just because you found the coordinates of a cache doesn't mean that it's exactly where they are. Uh, trees and rocks and buildings and stuff can often interrupt your uh, measurements. Uh, uh, can often throw off your measurements a lot, so you have to do a lot of searching around and stuff before. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Isn't that lovely?
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video about geocaching, and if you uh, were paying attention, you uh, noticed that I found 11 geocaches. Um, the waypoints, waypoint for each one is down in the doobly-doo, along with my geocaching.com username. Uh, thanks for watching, and happy caching! In case you're wondering, yes, I did get a haircut, and it's uh, shorter than I really wanted it to be. Kind of thing makes me kind of look like uh, Chris Eccleston, Ninth Doctor, but hey, it'll grow back. Also, apparently, this authorized parking only sign applies to this abandoned gas station too like this whole area because i thought it only meant that area where it has the no parking signs and along there so i had to pay 75 dollars to get my car booted so i'm uh, waiting for it and uh thank god for my best friend Stephen he western union me the money with an immediate thing walk six blocks up to smith's and six blocks back to get it Got this whole thing uh, taken care of.